Ow, it doesn't make any sense. I was... Suck. Why the fuck am I so high before my chute opened? What the fuck is this? Fuck. Ah, ah no! Ah, this, guy's this guy's taking, taking me out, out with fucking... Oh my god. Oh my god, that was you! <laughs> Oh no! Are you serious? Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! I can't believe that! <laughs> Hi, we're the Layman. You might remember us from other selling out videos such as Destiny 2. It's finally good again. And Overwatch loot boxes, they're okay, baby. And today we're back talking about Call of Duty Black Ops 4, mm. the game that everyone loves to hate, or at least they have for the last few years, but now it's turned into this big, gigantic, circle jerk loving, yeah. where everyone's talking about how good Call of Duty is. Yeah. And to be honest, they're kind of right. Yeah, they are. <laughs> So, Call of Duty. Uh, everyone Duty, knows Call it's of Duty. Call of Duty, Call of Duty, Duty, Call of Duty. Definitely one of the biggest games ever in the freaking universe. Uh, and it wasn't cool for a while to like Call of Duty. And it feels like it's cool again, to be honest. That's what I just said at the start. Though. Yeah, well, I thought I'd just reiterate it in a cooler way. Wow, well, really? Was well, that cooler? Really, really, I we're, don't, really, we're, really no, that. we're really working for that 1001. It's all about right the 1001, everybody. Call of Duty uh, this year has made some controversial decisions. Most mm. notably, it's removed its single player campaign. That's gone now, okay? Instead, they have this weird sort of like tutorial system going on where you play a sort of round of against bots with an operator to learn their abilities and then you get like a little cutscene. Yeah, the cutscenes are very pretty... much like Siege. If you've played Rainbow Six yeah, Siege, yeah, it's yeah, very yeah. much like that. Shows you how to do it, then throws you into like some deathmatch thing. And that's pretty Except much it. The cutscenes in Siege are like four seconds long. The cutscenes yeah. in this are actually pretty cool cutscenes. They're that go fully for a fleshed while. out. Like, you expect a campaign to start the moment those cutscenes end. And like it's, it's very fleshed and out. And they're so gory. Holy shit, man. Right now, we're showing you some gory no, shit. No, you can't. It gets demonetized. Oh, okay. Well, we're not showing you that, okay? It's <laughs> so gory that we literally can't show it to you in this because the video will 100% be demonetized. Yeah. Anyway, go and find it somewhere else. You'll see some Link of these in the clips description. and you'll be like, whoa. Oh, it actually asks you twice. Are you sure you want to watch yeah, this? Yeah, I remember that. Before you watch it, because it's that gory. I was like, hello, I'm an adult. I can watch some graphic <laughs> content. And then I'm like, <laughs> and I'm like oh, shit, I'm not an adult. This is crazy. True. Yeah, so it's very... Uh, I'm, I'm sure there's something to be said about how graphic do we really want to be seeing those things. But... Anyway, no campaign. Mm -hmm. Personally, if you're really upset about this because you love Call of Duty campaigns and you live for them and they're like, oh my god, I must have the annual Call of Duty single player campaign every year, then you need to play some different games. Yeah, man. because like, look, there really. are people out there that want to play that. Don't for me sure. Wrong, you know, and there's, you know, a lot of the Call of Duties that have come out have made, you know, great well not great but like you know very they've made very good campaigns well that's past. what i mean like they're they're very good campaigns in the past yes and it is a shame that they've dropped the whole campaign thing especially now there was some data that came out showing that about 35 percent of players really never logged on to multiplayer and got like less than 10 kills so it shows that a lot of people still want to play campaigns so it's a shame it's not there but it's not there now and what's replaced it is good old blackout that's okay racist. that is very racist. racist and i actually um think that this is going to be the pubg kill Okay, this is going to be the PUBG killer. We've spoken about it before, but let's go into it. So, what are your experiences with, with Blackout? I think Blackout's very good. Uh, it's unsurprising. No one is saying, look at shit. Mm. I think that Blackout's a really good PUBG clone. You know, it's basically just getting PUBG right. Yeah. It's PUBG without the suck. Mm. Uh, and I'll no be suck. honest, well, no suck. Not interested. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, I and I mean this in the nicest possible way because mm. I really like the game mode but I was honestly expecting more I was hoping for more I should say because I think that there was the, the, the genre has moved forward over the last few years you know uh, in Battle Royale space in things like you know Trials of the Night uh, Isles of Night oh, sorry, really of brought Nine, a lot right. of innovation to that genre like a like a pre-match sort of like death match mm. you know lobby area where you're just killing each other waiting for the game to start yeah. it had a training area it had a totally different inventory system really stripped down much faster mid game lots of things 
that I think improved the Battle Royale experience. I agree experience. with that. I, I do agree with and that. And this doesn't have that. I, I think that, you know, that's a perfect example of a game that sadly didn't pick up the traction that it, it deserved. I think so. um, yeah. You know, the deathmatch before while everyone's waiting should be a must, in my opinion, especially yeah. in something like this, where they have such a fleshed out deathmatch, you know, waiting around the corner in, yeah. another, in, in another mode. And just it's to be clear, all there. what we're talking about is while you're waiting for a mm. round of, of Blackout to start, you drop into a specific map and you just kill each other and over and over of, again, instant respawns, yeah. until your game starts. And yeah. I know that sounds really little, like, but it, but there's so much downtime when you're playing a battle royale game of just sitting around in the lobby, fucking checking Twitter, punching some dude in the yeah. face because you're bored, constantly it, just yeah. yeah, yeah. I was gonna say like just constantly trying to st like stay stimulated because yeah. you're so bored, and sometimes the wait time is about ten minutes, so or even longer sometimes. So that's definitely one thing, and the other thing that I totally agree with is the map is huge. Um, I'm not finding that a lot of these queues are filling up, especially on PC. Um, they definitely need to start bringing that circle in a lot quicker, or at least potentially bring out a separate, a separate map that uh, you only play if it's under 50 players, or something like that. Yeah. So just bring the game to a, a, a greater intensity quicker. That's yeah. the only thing that I'm really finding about Blackout at the moment, where it's just really drawn out. So, I, but I think these are like constructive criticisms, right? It's like it's a really good game mode. Oh, yeah. it's, a, it's a great game yeah. mode. We've played tons of it. We love it. We're playing on a stream at the moment. So these things are little nitpicks that mm. sort of like, eh, would it be cool if? It's not like, oh, Blockout sucks. It's kind of like, hey, great, great, great job. But also maybe think about this other stuff. Totally, and totally. I think we'll probably see those innovations in the future yep. with like the 2019 COD release. Or maybe we'll see it as free updates. I think, updates. No, I I think we'll see, we'll see it in 2019. Uh, I think we'll see it as a patch. I, I think know. that, you know, a lot of... I think they're going to look at that and go, well, hang on, it's so easy just to implement that right now. Yeah, but then they... It's or, already fleshed out. Or we could charge for it next year. Which one will Activision Which one do? will they do? I wonder. So the other thing that came with this is zombies. We played some zombies. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. I thought it was oh, really yeah, cool. That. Yeah, no, no, but like, I just think that, you know, the whole Colosseum thing, the whole Gladiator thing is really cool, but... There are four maps, though. There, there are four maps, but like, we've only, I've really only kind of gone into that particular one because I'm not a huge zombie fan. It's not something that grabs me hugely. Grabs me hugely. I'm sure that's how to say it. But uh, it's there's something... nothing huge to I'm grab. I'm sure there's nothing <laughs> huge to grab people. But look, it's something that I think a lot of people love and I think they've done a fantastic job. Um, and it's a great addition to Blackout and just the original multiplayer. Yeah, I find it a little bit overwhelming. There's so many options, so much mm. menu shit, so many perks, so many fucking activatable things like mm. it's it's unless you really spend the time to learn it it's not going to make sense to you and i didn't haven't really spent the time to learn it you know what i mean i've played it i've got to about around 28 29 a few times you know that which is not far but it's not nothing either but i look at it all the complexities of it and i'm like do i want to invest the time in this to really understand what this is and play lots of it no because it's just kind of like i find it a bit spammy after about wave 20. i get a bit bored after about yeah. wave 20 and that's just me personally but look overall i look at it it looks stunning um, that level of customization is definitely a bonus for mm. really hardcore fans. It's clear that this is going to have a lot of longevity in it. Um, and I think that, you know, generally speaking, the community is pretty happy with the Zombies game mode. Yeah. You know, like, some people are like, eh, it's a bit too much, it's a bit too different to what they were expecting. Mm. But most people are like, yeah, this is pretty cool and we like it. Yeah, so, for sure. That's Zombies. So that's good. Multiplayer. Multiplayer. I was never expecting to play multiplayer. Look, whatever. I know, I right? Blackout. I was like, Blackout's going to be where it's at. And yeah. I find that I want to kind of, I want to play more multiplayer than Blackout. Yeah, There's something definitely. about it, the intensity of it, you know, the weapon mechanics feel great, the class system, um, you know, the time to kill, um, the, the, the map design. It. it just feels so good. It just, it like, no, I mean, this is literally though, it's like, it just works. It just works. <laughs> no, no, I mean, no mean, though. Like, it actually does just work. Yeah. You, you can't really put your finger on it because it's like all the little things mm. are precisely tuned to exactly where they need to be at this point in time. Yeah. It's kind of like, you know, games go through cycles. And it's not like this format is going to be universally perfect forever. It's like sometimes we need a shooter that has just this time to kill, just this set of abilities, just this mm. map design, just this feel. And we get bored of it after a while yeah. and we need something else. But at this exact moment, looking back on Battlefield 1 and World War 2 and looking at the fact that everyone's playing Battle Royale games mm. now, this feels like just the right shooter at the right time. And it just precisely calibrated all of the little things exactly yeah. right. It's just so good. I yeah. just really, really can't commend it enough. I th I was pretty blown away by how much 
A, it's captured me, and number two, the reception in general. I mean, a lot of people were naturally skeptical of Call of Duty. It felt like it was old, yeah. you know, and they've really they, they've really revitalized that. But at the same time, we were, we were talking about this on stream. It's definitely kept its Call of Duty core. You jump on and you still very much feel like it's, you know, it is a Call of Duty game. Uh, the intensity of it, the map design, uh, there's something about it that just definitely doesn't feel like it's too separated from that original but Call I think, of Duty feel. But I think it's also important to say that it is a genuine evolution on the feel of Call I, of Duty. I definitely understand. I have, yeah, yeah, the feel sure. of Call of Duty has not changed for about the past four or five years. Mm. It's always felt the same. Even with different skins over the top of it, different settings, whatever else, it feels the same. This COD feels fundamentally different mm. and it feels improved for what where we're at now and what we're playing now it's yeah. just I yeah, think that's the best cool. way to sum it up it feels like a better Call of Duty you yep. know in, in, in just so many aspects so they've done a really fantastic job I mean but it's not for everyone I think this game I think that uh, it's a well actually I would say I it's know, very it's easily like, accessible yeah. but some people that just have never really latched on to Call of Duty may just still look at this and go it's still just not for me you yeah know? yeah sure I mean look it, the thing is people are like is it worth 60 bucks okay mm. Because there's no campaign, people are like, it's not worth 60 bucks. Listen, if you don't think COD is worth 60 bucks to you, fair enough. That makes sense, okay? Mm. But it, you can't say this game is not worth $60. Because what you've essentially got is three game modes that are the best in class at this point. Yeah. It is This is the best Battle Royale game mode outside of Fortnite. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's the best sort of military setting Battle Royale. Yeah. The Zombies game mode is... There's other games like it out in the genre, but this is the best one at the moment like this. Uh -huh. And I honestly believe that it's PvP multiplayer shooting is among the best out in the market right now. It competes with Titanfall 2. It's definitely the same caliber of quality versus Rainbow Six. It's just offering a different type of experience. Mm. You don't look at this and think, this is shit, it's phoned in, it's lazy, it's garbage. You really look at it and think, yes, this is exactly what it needs to be. So exactly. three excellent quality top tier game modes for 60 bucks if you want a multiplayer shooter then this is worth that money. Exactly. I think that if you've ever had a fondness for Call of Duty and no. if you're really wondering if this is something to return to, I would certainly suggest, I would just certainly say yes. I mean, for it's sure. a very safe bet in my opinion. Yep. Um, you know, there's just so many things to return for. It could be the zombie mode, it could be the Battle Royale, it could be the fantastic multiplayer with the right tweaks that we've spoken about. So it does feel, uh, it's just exactly what they needed to deliver. Um, but as I said, but it's still uh, not too separated from the original Call of Duty for you that if you want to love Call of Duty, you can come back and feel like you're right at home again. So yes. that is, mm. yeah, I think it's a really, I feel like it's a huge triumph for Call of Duty you know, and Activision to deliver a game that was kind of almost becoming a bit of a meme. I know it already had a large fan base, but there was a jadedness to it, you know? It was getting like, well, this is kind of getting a bit old. And they brought it back in a lot of ways, you know? So it's, it's, a, it's a great example of how you can revitalize IP. Is there anything else Activision wanted us to say in this video, by the way? Uh, if we said it's game of the year, they give us five grand. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah. Oh, it's game of the um, year, absolutely, uh, game guys. Of the year, it is, um, God God of War. Game of the generation, in fact. It's yeah. incredible. Fuck off, Red Dead Redemption. Yeah, too. go away, God of um, War, Zelda, Ocar Ocarina of Time, thank better you. all that. Yeah, nice yeah. guys. <laughs>